The farthest object ever created by humans is NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, which has successfully ventured into interstellar space. Imagine launching a spacecraft over 45 years ago that's still active today, exploring regions no one thought it would reach, long past its intended mission duration. This remarkable achievement is the legacy of a bold NASA mission that's redefining the boundaries of space exploration. But there's something even more astonishing. This resilient spacecraft is not only billions of miles from its original launch site, it's still sending data back to Earth using technology older than a cassette player. That's right. Despite being launched in 1977, Voyager 1 recently made a discovery that has stunned scientists and drawn global attention. What could this incredible finding be in the depths of space? And what does it mean for us here on Earth? This moment traces back to a historic turning point, when two of NASA's most groundbreaking space missions were launched, marking a new era of interplanetary exploration. It was thanks to the insight of Gary Flandro, a scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, that an ideal flight path was mapped for a probe to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Using only a pencil and engineering tools of the time, Flandro realized that in the late 1970s and early 1980s, these four gas giants would align in a rare celestial pattern, forming a sort of planetary highway connected to Earth. This alignment, which happens only once every 176 years, would allow a spacecraft to harness each planet's gravity for a gravitational assist, effectively slingshotting it through space and dramatically reducing travel time. A journey to Neptune that would normally take 30 years could now take just 12. Recognizing this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, NASA moved quickly. Within just 15 days in the summer of 1977, they launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, two identical spacecraft designed to capitalize on this rare planetary configuration. At the time, no one imagined these twin missions would go on to shatter records and become the most successful exploratory missions in history. More than 45 years later, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 remain operational, transmitting daily data from the outer edges of our solar system. These spacecraft have traveled far beyond their original targets, which is even more extraordinary considering their missions were initially expected to last only four years, yet they've continued to surprise and inform. Early in their journeys, they sent back unprecedented close-up images of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, revealing unexpected geological activity, including active volcanoes and ice-covered surfaces, changing our understanding of these distant worlds. Voyager 2 became the first and only spacecraft to fly by Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989, returning stunning data from regions never before explored over 14 billion kilometers from Earth. These car-sized spacecraft have vastly exceeded expectations, pushing the frontiers of what's possible. Their voyage began with a groundbreaking gravity assist maneuver around Venus, and their path took them 10 times farther than Mercury's distance from Earth, navigating the hazardous asteroid belt, a feat previously achieved only by Pioneer. 10 and 11, yet the technological limitations were significant. Each Voyager carried just 69 kilobytes of memory, far less than a modern smartphone. Data was stored on tape recorders and transmitted using a 23-watt signal, roughly the power of a small light bulb. Each was equipped with a 12-foot-wide antenna and relied on radio waves traveling at light speed to communicate with Earth. But as the distance grew by three or four light seconds daily, this became more challenging. Eventually, signals from Voyager, too, took more than 18 hours to reach Earth. Increasing interference from TVs, cell phones, and other devices on Earth further complicated the reception of its faint signals. Despite these challenges, both Voyagers continued to provide unexpected discoveries from the interstellar void, reshaping our view of the universe. Beyond the known boundaries of the solar system lies the mysterious Oort Cloud, a vast, spherical, collection of icy bodies held loosely by the sun's gravity, stretching nearly to the nearest star. Though the voyagers are still on their way toward this distant frontier, their entry into interstellar space officially began when they crossed the heliopause, the boundary between the solar wind's influence and interstellar space. Originally, estimated to lie around 50 astronomical units from Earth, 
This transition didn't produce immediate environmental changes, puzzling scientists. They expected a sharp rise in cosmic rays, high-energy particles from supernovae and other celestial events, but most of these were blocked by the heliosphere, the Sun's protective magnetic shield. The Voyager team also anticipated a change in the direction of magnetic fields once the spacecraft exited the heliosphere. However, this shift didn't occur as expected. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 finally crossed the heliopause and confirmed its new environment through a measurable increase in plasma density, though without any corresponding shift in magnetic orientation. This was surprising, as a change was predicted when moving from a solar-dominated region into space influenced by other stars. The continued success of the Voyager mission is a testament to human ingenuity and scientific curiosity. These aging probes are still sending back valuable data, offering us a window into the deepest, darkest reaches of space and helping to answer questions we're only beginning to understand.